welcome back to the channel so in this video uh, we're going to talk about time frames that's what I'm going to focus on so I'm going to give you an idea of uh, all the time frames that we have in trading and depending on which one you feel is convenient for you to use I'm also going to give you an idea of the kind of trading that is being done with that particular time frame okay so this uh, works uh, for both a spot trading and a features trading so I'm going to walk you through all that. So you have to go over to this and click on sports. So we're going to open this on a new tab and then also open the features on a new tab. So we can see both simultaneously. So let's start with the spot trading because it's the same thing. So I'm just going to show you to be sure like for you to actually see that it's the same thing. So if you look at here, you see the time frames, and if you hover on here, you see different time frames. The same thing applies to the features. Okay, over here you see the time frame. So I'm going to give you an idea of each time frame and what each time frame probably means. Okay, so uh, we have the 15 minutes. Okay, let's over here. I'll see all that. We have the one minute. We have the three minutes, five minutes, 15 minutes, 30, one hour, two hours, four, six, eight, 12, one day, three day, one week, and one month. You can actually edit and highlight whichever one you want to highlight so let's say i want to also add probably eight hours on this option or whatever um actually i can actually edit whichever i want to edit so it automatically becomes very very less so let's say eight hours 12 hours and i save comes up here so that's how to do that and i don't use this so i don't use it all the time so that's that for the time frame now an ex uh sorry so that's that's for the time frame so uh, if you probably used to using between a one minute time frame to a one hour time frame so this is like a overview of that if you stick between if you prefer using one minute time frame uh and okay yeah so this is one minute i'm going to assume that you've already uh, gone through some of our videos so i'm going to put a link in the description that explains the candlestick like more like uh, an introduction to the spot trading and all that so i'm going to put a link in the description uh to the video so that you can watch that and get more understanding if you're confused so if you stick between a one minute time frame a three minutes a 5 15 30 and one hour you are considered to be a scapula okay so you're actually scapling okay so uh not couple per se on <laughs> the instrument okay so that's what we call it coupling okay. so uh that's for people that trade within this time frame so you just want to like enter a trade and quickly exit a trade so all these uh trading methods are applicable to different people okay so some people uh, prefer one particular over the other and so you prefer the other over the other so that's how it works now if you are probably focused on within let's say one hour to a day okay you are most considered uh, a day trader that if you like using the one hour to do your analysis and maybe the four hours because day traders move, often use one hour four hours and a day to do their analysis technical analysis and then end day trade so if you are within this group of people that has been in this category you are considered a tree tree a, a day trader so you're actually trading okay so if you probably are working within let's say a day to a week that's your analysis is between a day to a week you're sorry for the noise <laughs> so if you're considered uh so uh, yeah so if you like using a day to a week but one two three to do your technical analysis that's one day three day and one week to do your analysis and a day trade you most considered a swing trader not swing as per what we know already okay so it's actually a term used to explain this category of individuals so what you actually are doing is like you're swinging and it's it's people that are within the one day to one week category now for people that are within a one week to one month are considered 
position trading so this it's more like a position trading and also a long-term trading because for one month and above is considered a long-term trading so you more like trying to you analyze your trades with a week to a month and you actually enter your trade between that one month interval and you hold your trade for a longer period of time so what you consider is you're trying to like trade on a position level and probably a long term level okay so like i said before these different categories is applicable to different group of people so there are some times that actually for example me i prefer to to swing and sometimes i prefer to uh, trade on long term so it depends on the individual i'm not a scapular person or I don't like scalping, okay? So uh, it depends on the individual. So depending on which one that works best for you, you stick with it, okay? So, and uh, just a tip or an idea too. For each particular type of trading, your budgeting comes into play. So uh, if you're probably uh, trying to scalpel, yeah, the budgeting for it is not highly needed. But when you go up to the level of, let's say, swinging or position trading, you actually need a whole lot of budgets so that if in any case uh the trade comes down and goes up like it swings across you don't get kicked out of your trade okay so we're going to talk about this later on down the video okay uh or sorry <laughs> down across yeah so i'm going to do a video about that later on to explain more about all this so like always if you find this video helpful do click on the thumbs up so it can get more viewers it's good for algorithm and don't forget to and don't forget to click on the bell icon to get notified that's after you have clicked on the subscription to sub to the video and sorry to sub to the channel oh. thank you for watching i'll catch you next one cheers